This is a quick fix tutorial where I'm focusing only on difficult sections in the piece, applying only those principles that don't require sound imagination skills and will quickly ease your playing, making technique more comfortable and fluent. These basic principles are wrist movement, elbow movement, intonation, arm weight, articulations, phrasing and time. If you've been playing this piece for quite a while, keep in mind that all these principles won't work at full potential, as all sensations might interfere with new ones. Yet they will ease your playing as much as possible in your current situation. This is just a basic fix to let you feel more comfortable while playing, and since we're not imagining sounds, we're not making any harmonies, dynamics or voice and nuances in this tutorial. And feel free to leave your request in the comments section below. So now let's get started. Match the wrist movement with the known direction. Move gently without any tension. At the last stage of practicing, this movement will be remained in muscle sensations only and won't be visible to the eyes. This will keep your wrist tension free. And a missing fingering in the score before starting playing. While the wrist movement is matching the known direction, the elbow is moving towards the new position on a circle note. This will release tension in hands and improve speed and accuracy in leaps. So while playing, keep your hand absolutely relaxed. Press the key, release any tension in hand, and play with your natural tone. Don't force anything, even though it's for the piano. I mean, not only we're not making it in this tutorial, but generally, if you are not imagining dynamics, you're not making any phrasing, not making any articulation, so separate the layers, just play with soft sound, just watch your movement, that's your uh, task for now. Sing in between notes with a glissando and resistance. Keep the same sensation while singing out loud on the notes. While playing, keep singing the same way internally. It is possible to sing the same way while playing fast passages. 
internally sync with the energy of weight. This is how it sounds without weight versus with weight. Such singing will sustain transferring of weight while playing, bringing more freedom and power to your voice and hands. Phrasing is a structured intonation, breathing, where smaller blocks with more prominent sections are united into larger blocks with more prominent sections. Use intonation and weight in phrasing to make energetic crescendo towards more prominent sections and blocks. While practicing phrasing, take a little break, a breath after every block, and slow down towards the main interval in a motif, the main motif in a phrase, and the main phrase in a sentence. Let's play by motifs first. I'm a bit <laughs> now when I look at the score and I play it, I'm not sure. Am I just supposed to be E flat over here and then D flat? Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't judge me. I look at the score the first time, but instead of maybe I don't know. I have to check. Okay, I'll check later. Anyways, let's go to phrases. sentences.
time and tempo mean more than just the speed of music. It's a part of the character of music. After choosing the pulsation, connect time to the musical image of the piece. And if the image of music is joyful, feel and describe the pulse not as just slow, but calm and peaceful. Not just faster, but lively and exciting. Not just fast, but energetic and bright. Feel time while playing always following a phrasing line to sustain the flow of playing. Now let's include the time. I think I would pulsate by half a bar. So let's start with a chill, slow tempo. Very slow. Actually, I already feel that I'm not really secure in this turn. So again, it could probably be due to I need to fix my elbow and musical speech in that certain interval. So I'm gonna pay more attention to move my elbow on this note on A flat. It's in the seventh bar. And then intonate this octaves up with musical speech. Ability to feel a difference in singing different intervals will let us pre-feel through intonation the distance of every interval much more accurately. That helps mind and hands to faster prepare to the intervals. As I have said before many times, if we can't feel fast while playing, we're not ready to play fast. Feel the difference in sound while singing with intonation these intervals. And I think probably also on this note the move elbow better, so let's see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start from here, also slower. So a bit faster. Let's see how fast I can play. I'm I'm literally side reading it. Okay. Still okay, let's slow down.
now let's go with intonation and weight, separate from articulations first. Articulations are the variant of intonation, where the principle of singing internally in between notes with a glissando resistance remains the same. In every type of articulations, the first part of the interval is sung with resistance, but the second part is varied. In staccato, extremely accelerate the speed. In tenuta, move fully down with weight. In accents, mix staccato and tenuta, bring speed and weight at the same time. Now with the, those accents, again, they are written by Chopin, but I'm not really sure if I should make it in the full, in their full potential, um, because sometimes he just wanted to show their student that you need to voice a certain note or that you need to play the note stronger because the weak finger doesn't play it well enough. Anyways, I will probably... Mm, accent just a little bit um, <laughs> because I'm not completely sure again why he didn't write accents over here so I'm, <laughs> I'm really confused what to do okay Phrasing, we're gonna start with sub motifs. So, those small slurs, we're gonna intonate from the notes. So, we're not gonna come to the last interval like we usually do in the, in the motif phrasing sentences because it's a certain small slur. We're gonna start with the main interval. And I made in, in the past a video called um, How to Feel and Play Small Slurs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but basically, it's that you probably would create some kind of note, invisible note in your mind to the first note in the slur and intonate to that note. So it would literally sound... This way. So... So now let's include these sub motifs into the motif, play by motifs. So again, 
Am I supposed to say by half a bar? Okay. Secure in this octave, so and also I'm not secure in this one. Mm, okay, so let's start with this. So here I'm gonna apply musical speech in this ascending octave every time to prepare my fifth finger faster and better. Let's see. because thirds are mixed with seconds. So I have to make sure where the third is actually going on. So I'm going to intonate every third better with musical speech. Okay. So we have four of them here. Let's make it in the phrase. Speed up a little bit more. Ah, okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should intonate more the second. to practice these octaves. Anyways, I think not bad for the first time. I think I cannot play faster than this, so that would be it. I also have to do the same as musical speech, so third is second, second, Okay. Now let's start again with sub motives. Okay, 
So let's go to time. Slowness. some practice but I think if I continue this way it's gonna be okay. Seconds down and my fifth finger is not really strong. Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Thank you. 